the Instant Pot Vortex 6 or this machine right here. And you may have gotten one for Christmas. It was a Black Friday special and a lot of people bought them. And uh, Instant Pot didn't make it easy because they named a couple of their air fryers Vortex. Well, this is model number Vortex 6, and that's because it's a six quart. But my point is, it has, uh, according to some of my subscribers, I've already got four videos on this, and uh, on some of my videos, I'm getting comments about uh, plastic smells and stuff. Well, I found something while I was doing an unboxing video that I think may be causing it. But like I said, you might want to watch this to make sure you get all the packing out. I'm going to show you everything I know about it, a couple of other things I know already, and I'm also going to show you some things that Instapot's making that uh, you may not know about. And uh, we're going to just, like I said, go over it just to make sure in case you got one for Christmas and you hadn't opened it yet, make sure we get all the packing and all that. I'm going to show you where to look. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's take a look at the Instapot Vortex 6. Okay, so first things first, after I posted a few videos, one of the first questions I got about it was this right here. And it's to do with this tray in the bottom. And you can see it goes in. Now, I love that part about it. And I say that in my, I think in my unboxing video where I also uh, cook French fries in it, which it does excellent. <laughs> but the thing I like about this, this basket is that it doesn't have that thing you push out of the way and push a button to release something. I, I've never liked that with any of them. They're too easy to accidentally release. Uh, I've had them release when I didn't push the button. It was still covered. I was just shaking them and they'd come out. I'm not a big fan of that style. I love this design. I love this machine. Now, the, the question I had was these tabs right here. And, and a lot of people referred to them as these rubber tabs, and they said, should I remove them? No, they're not rubber to start with, they're silicone. And they'll handle all the temperature that this will develop. I think they're good for around five, I don't know, around 500 degrees. Uh, they're good for better than this machine will develop, I'll put it like that, but you should always leave them in. And that's my opinion now, I haven't read it, I didn't find it in the manual, but I feel positive. And what they do is they kind of hold it up and they center the tray, so air can flow around it better when it's in here. So, I mean, that's all it's about, and you got the handle to lift it out. And, you know, it's a, it's a different design than a lot of air frying baskets if you've used the kind that has the basket that drops. But the problem that came up, the big problem that came up in, the, uh, in, in my videos or the thing was people were mentioning a plastic smell. Well, I did not get any plastic smell when it was brand new. I didn't notice any problem at all, but I did find this while I was unboxing it. Now, I'm going to try and play this video. Of course, you can go watch my unboxing video, and I, and I wish you would, but here's what happened, and I'm going to play it right now. Enough explanation of it. We're going to, I'm going to show you what it looks like. As a matter of fact, I'll show you this. If right you look, here, and I have not plugged it in and right I have here. not turned it on. See that cardboard? Here's the fan. So it's a pretty good sized pan. And here's the, uh, what they call it on there, the tray or something. This, this is the part that comes. And I'm going to pause it right there. If you saw that cardboard right there, and I'm going to let it play to right there where I can point it out. Right there, that cardboard. That is what I think is causing, and I keep touching the screen, make it go dark. I think that is what is causing a lot of people's problem. That is a piece of cardboard, and when you watch that whole video, you'll see where I just simply pulled it out. But my point is, I'd already done this. You know, that on, in this video, I had already had this basket out, and I didn't notice it. So I'm thinking, possibly, in fact, I had a subscriber tell me that they had a plastic smell. They, they found that, pulled it out, and it went away. Now, the other thing I would say do for, you know, what some people are saying is I would look right here on this element, and I got to see if you can see what I'm talking about. I would look right there and make sure there's no, you know, I don't know, peanuts, you know what you call peanuts. Just make sure there's nothing on that. And that's really all I really know to say about it, other than, hey, I love this unit, and I think it is one of the better on the market, and I haven't tried them all, but I love it. It's got a good feel. I say that in my other video. Uh, it's worked perfect for me. I got no complaints. 
Now, to kind of get off of that, and that's really what I wanted to get off my, you know, get out there because I, I reviewed it and I didn't, you know, that, that I didn't have any problems. So anytime there's a problem with anything I review, I like to go back over it and that's what this is all about. So I'll link that video where you can see where I actually pull the cardboard out and I'll probably link a couple other because here's a couple things I want to show you that you may not know. And it's not, this has got nothing to do with, the, uh, with uh, any problems with it. This is something you might want to know. This is a Fat Daddy-O, PRD83, and I've got a video that I'll link here too that shows you how to go get uh, different devices made by this company. My point is, that is an eight by three, it's eight inches wide by three inches deep. It fits in there perfect, and uh, you could do a lot of things in it. In fact, I may very soon cook something in this and post a video on that alone, but that goes in there. You could do cakes, anything. You know, there's a lot of things you could do with that pan. So the next thing is I've got a video also where in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and the Ninja Foodie, I use this cast iron plate. And one of them, I do a grilled cheese right here. It worked really, really well. I'll link that video. So this may turn into a link video, but I put butter in here. Put a grilled cheese right here. It works really well. Obviously, it will fit. Now, a couple of things. Here's something I got from Instapot's website. And uh, it's an Instapot silicone spring form cake pan with tempered glass bottom. Obviously, it'll fit. I may do something in it in this device before long also. And you can see just what it says, tempered glass. And it's a spring form pan that uh, cheesecakes, a lot of things. You know, I haven't done anything with it. They also make it in a uh, nine by, well, no, I'm, <laughs> it's not nine by five. It's designed on the nine by five baking pan uh, base, but I think it's more like about, I don't know, I'd say that's probably eight by three. I don't remember the dimensions. And I have a video that tells that too, and I may try and link it. Here's some things they're doing. Like I said, we're kind of getting out in the weeds with it, but I wanted to show it. They're making spatulas and stuff now, and that's a good-looking spatula. I'm going to be using it, and I bought this at a company that's closing. I bought all, a lot of this. I bought two or three of these from uh, Kitchen Collections. They're closing, but you can still get it, I'm sure, from their website or whatever, but it's just an Instapot spatula. Here's another one they're making, a nylon paddle spatula. And I don't know why I'm showing this, because this is going to be a short video. And I'm just trying to, you know, let you know this in here because I wouldn't do a video and try and explain all this. Uh, silicone head tongs. And uh, I haven't opened them up yet, but they look good to me. And I think they will be. This kind of stuff right here. All of this came from that kitchen collection. So I think they close maybe at the first of this year. But it's got a, well, I'll show you on their artwork here. It's got a divider. Now, I'm not sure how it would fit in here. I'm not sure how, how I would use that divider. But... Instant, my point is, Instapot's getting way out uh, into all kinds of things, not just uh, pressure cookers like they were for year, for years. And uh, plus, they got the Duo Crisp. Uh, I'm telling you that if you're gonna, if you really want an Instapot, there's no doubt in my mind that the Duo Crisp is the uh, one to have. It does air, it does air frying and pressure cooking, and I'll link that video. I tell you what, <laughs> I'm linking videos tonight. But anyhow, that's what it's about. I just wanted to go over that. <clears throat> Mainly, my whole point is to make sure before you start your, if you got one of these for Christmas or if you bought it during Black Friday and you haven't started it up yet, make sure you pull this basket out and look under there for that piece of cardboard. And if I were you, I would just look here and make sure there's nothing that could have got there. And then the final thing, like I said, is these, in my opinion now, I couldn't find it in the manual, don't know that it may be there. Uh, these stay on, and I think they are to help elevate it so air can flow around it better. And by the way, I say, that in my, say this in another video, but those arrows need to match that arrow. And that's what that is for, that it won't go, in other words, it will not go but one way, again, the unit is a good, a good feeling unit. It's good and solid. It clicks in real well, and it does not have that basket release that I hate so much. So anyhow, 
I'm going to try and get this up tomorrow. Uh, it's Christmas. Today is Christmas. I'm going to try and have this up by a day after Christmas to try and head off anyone starting their unit with that packing material still in there. And plus, like I said, the Fat Daddy OPRD83, I'm going to link that video because this is great for not only air fryers, but pressure cookers. Anyhow. Hey, I love y'all all. Y'all, uh, I appreciate y'all watching my video. <laughs> y'all come back to see me. And, and please comment if you know anything that might be causing someone's plastic smell. If you see the comments in my videos, if you know anyone is having, or if you know, if you've had that problem and you know what it is, please comment and tell it. That would be a great help to a lot of people. Thank y'all. Come back to see me. Bye-bye.